in a nutshell, this demon of practicality and pleasing other human beings come into focus, right? So when people are taught, young actors, young performers, people that want to do different, the artists think people want to do different things in their life, that usually the adults around them have this demon of practicality that they've infused into their life and saying, okay, listen, and, and this happened to me at my grandparents. I love my grandparents. They were, they were the best, but they were, they grew up in during the depression. And so to them, if you have a steady job, you don't quit your job. You got to have a very practical life, right? And a lot of yes. people are that way for, for many different reasons. And so a lot of people get steered away from their passions um, and maybe that's we, we allow that to happen for for sake of love and connection or it's out of fear or what have you. Right. But but ultimately, we're, we're kind of sold on this idea. And you kind of mentioned it earlier, this idea that if we have certain things, I don't think it's to impress other people. I think what we're told is if we have certain things then we're going to be happy, if we have the house, we mm-hmm. have the partner, then happiness trails that. Right. When the reality is happiness has to be the engine, not the caboose. Right. And that's one of the big changes I made in my evolution. One of the things I try to teach and defend your greatness is that confrontation with that question. Are you happy? And I say confrontation because it's easy to dismiss it and say, well, listen, I've got a, a new new car.